Now that Aaron Gordon officially requested a trade from the Orlando Magic, let's get into what happened in his career with the Orlando Magic and where he goes forward from here on out. Gordon was drafted 4th overall in the 2014 NBA Draft to the Orlando Magic. Coming out of the draft, there was a lot of hype surrounding Aaron Gordon even getting compared to players such as Kawhi Leonard and Tony Allen, just due to the fact that his defense was so significantly better than anyone else in college basketball and he was really highly regarded in terms of his defense. Aaron Gordon was known to be an extremely athletic guy that had great defensive skills and IQ and he was being compared to players as I said as Kawhi and other guys like that that can guard 1 through 4. The fact that Aaron Gordon was selected 4th overall was not a reach whatsoever at the time and a lot of people were saying maybe he should go a little bit higher. But another reason why Aaron Gordon was so highly regarded wasn't only due to his great defense, but it was also due to his amazing footwork and great athletic ability that would help him get to the basket on offense as well. Coming out of college, as Aaron Gordon doesn't even have now, he didn't have a great jump shot, but people thought his athletic ability would make up for it and his ability to get to the rim at that 3 or 4 position. But in his career with the Orlando Magic, there's been up and down seasons. He started out his career pretty slowly with the Magic, but he kept progressing every season and continuously got better until the 2017 NBA season where he had the best season averaging 17.6 points per game. Along with 8 rebounds per game, 2.3 assists per game, and 43% shooting from the field. But even in his 2017 season, which was his best season, he was never anywhere near really an all-star type player. And for a guy who was a fourth overall pick, that's something you would want. But to his credit, he did bring his defensive ability over from college to the NBA, guarding the opposing team's best player on most nights. And Aaron Gordon was a pretty decent player throughout his career, but for a fourth overall pick, obviously you're expecting more than that. I think Aaron Gordon could be a pretty effective player for some teams that need defense, but offensively, I'm not too convinced about his shooting ability that hasn't really been good throughout his whole career. And his driving ability is decent, but you really need that shot to open up that driving game. But you do have to be fair to Aaron Gordon in the sense that Orlando Orlando wasn't the best situation for him and they didn't always bring in the right players to help him succeed and thrive. For a guy like that, you really need shooters to spread out the floor and clear out the paint for him and you also need a point guard that could really get him the ball and the Orlando Magic to his credit honestly didn't really do either one. But after that 2017 season where Aaron Gordon had his best season, he's been declining every season since then. In his 2018 season, his points went down to 16 points per game. In 2019, his points went down to 14 points per game. And in 2020, he's also averaging 14 points per game. And his rebounding all numbers also went down. His assist numbers, although, did go up to 4.2 assists this season that he's averaging. But overall, Aaron Gordon's production did decrease over time with the Orlando Magic. But that's how we got to this point. And now Aaron Gordon officially requested a trade from the Orlando Magic. And now let's determine it, what his trade value would be and what the Magic can get in return for him. The Boston Celtics are front runners to acquire Aaron Gordon and the Denver Nuggets are also considered a serious contender to acquire Aaron Gordon. For the Boston Celtics, I'm not so sure Aaron Gordon fits in there so perfectly. He does provide them rebounding which they do need and defense which would help them as it would any other team. But the Celtics already have Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown who both need the ball in their hands and Aaron Gordon is not going to be a guy that's going to spot up for you. If the Celtics did trade for Aaron Gordon though, he would probably be off the bench because he wouldn't work with the other two. But the Celtics would also need to bring in more shooting in order to help him work. But the Celtics seem like they're serious about acquiring Aaron Gordon. I could see a deal like a late first round pick in a few years from now and a guy like Romeo Langford would probably get the deal done. And maybe the Celtics would also have to throw in a few filler guys just to make the money work. I'm not sure what the Magic have in mind in terms of a trade value for Aaron Gordon, but I think his value is significantly decreased due to his worst play over the last few seasons, as well as obviously requesting a trade that obviously hurts his trade value. But I think a guy like Langford for the Magic to get and a late first round pick either this year or next year or maybe in a few years from now would be pretty fair value for them. Gordon's name popped up in trade rumors for the past two or three seasons. The Magic clearly wanted to get rid of him. And now it's official Aaron Gordon also wants to leave the Magic so I feel like a deal like this would make sense for both sides. In the case of the Denver Nuggets, they're desperately needing help scoring, which I'm not so sure Aaron Gordon provides, but Jamal Murray has been pretty inconsistent this season, and Nikola Jokic desperately needs help offensively. 
And the Nuggets just lost Jeremy Grant last season, and maybe they're looking for a guy like Aaron Gordon to fill in his shoes. But a deal here I would see as a pretty similar deal to the Celtics deal. I'd see a late first round pick in a few years from now, and maybe a guy like Isaiah Hardenstein, or maybe the Magic could somehow get PJ Dozier, but I don't really think he would be included in a deal. I think Aaron Gordon as a player is much more valuable than the trades I laid out suggest, but I think his value is just super low now due to the fact that he finally requested a trade on top of the Magic trying to shop him for the past three seasons. But overall, I think in the right situation, Aaron Gordon could definitely thrive, but that situation clearly wasn't with the Orlando Magic. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Aaron Gordon could thrive with another organization that's a better fit for him? Or do you think Aaron Gordon's just not a great player and he won't thrive? But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And until the next time, peace out, guys.